Hello and welcome to Wine Jam News with me, Sum Cash. This is your weekly wine news every Friday at 8 p.m. So this is a quick summary, and we're going to start with Oregon wineries uh, came together to save grapes that were rejected uh, because of their smoke taint. Um, this is basically the smoke taint that came from the Colondike fire, uh, which uh, burned over 175,000 acres. Uh, the grapes seem to have smoke taint on them, so uh, the growers stated that they weren't good enough for the for their wineries. Um, but the wineries have actually come back and stated that we, we're going to group together, we're going to create a group called uh, the Oregon Solidarity uh, Label, which is where these, gro these grapes are going to, to cre create these new wines, um, which I think is great. And then they, they're putting the profits back to the growers. So um, obviously, yeah, there, there's obviously a cost issue when you're growing grapes and if you're not able to sell them on, then, you know, how do you pay off all your bills? Um, but I think... For my personal agenda would be I'd like to see whether the smoke tainted grapes have any new kind of compounds or even more um, kind of unusual flavours that come from these wines. So uh, I'll be looking out for them, that's for sure. Um, but it's good news, good sort of healthy news for the wine industry. Uh, and next news, wine will be used uh, to heat a new factory in Stanley. Uh, this is by the Lanchester Group, which is a uh, county Durham firm, uh, it, it, which also includes a wine merchants, uh, which is the Lanchester Wineries, and the uh, Greencroft B Bottling, which is a, developing a £20 million uh, facility at its site in Anfield Plain. Um, they'll be using wind and solar as the renewable energy, um, but this will be the first business in the world to use wine as a heating element in the factory. So... There you go, that's, uh, that's a first, right? It's not just the wine that you'd heat up yourself, but you can also heat up a whole factory. In further news, wines, wineries sorry, need to be carbon neutral, uh, and it is possible to do that today. Uh, that was the overall tone at the Porto Climate Change Conference, uh, with specific uh, projects referred to as, the, as a new way of designing wineries can be done today in order to kind of lower those carbon emissions um, and also looking at the reasonable use of carbon which comes from the fermentation process of making wines and actually reusing that as a financial gain um, instead of hindering the environment. When is it exactly wine o'clock? Anyone? When is it exactly wine o'clock? Uh, apparently they've done studies and research into this so um, it is now Wine Wednesday, so it, yeah, your usual Wednesdays, which is usually hashtag Wine Wednesday, and it is usually going to be around 7pm, uh, is what they found in, in quite a few research. There's also Saturdays, which is around 7 o'clock as well, but uh, in two studies, it was predominantly Wednesday at 7pm is when you have Wine O'Clock. Um, it's, yeah, they also say there's any other time, but uh, that's kind of an averaging out, but um Interesting to know, uh, you know, to do particular research into this. Uh, and finally, um, a little kind of uh, comical one, which is uh, the BBC News host uh, Simon McCoy shocked viewers when he stormed off the news desk with a bottle of wine in hand and he looked to be taking a swig out the bottle just as he leaves. Uh, it's, uh, it's something on the, on the show that's just going to be coming to its finish. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it was quite interesting to see that from a, sort of, you know the old traditional BBC standpoint of view, looking at the news and then this new cast just storming off. Um, even some of the words of "you take you stay classy, San Diego" was in there as well, which I thought was great. Um, yeah, look that up on the internet when you get a moment. Uh, so that's all the wine news from me, some cash. Um, take a look at more wine news up here and subscribe here when you guys get a chance. And I will be back next Friday again at 8pm.